Yeah, I don't know, man. This is really bizarre. There's nothing holding this up that I can visibly see. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s and 9 Alpha 21. This is the Apocalypse Ranger series, and I am an old guy gaming, and we are about ready to collapse uh, the rest of the stone here in our pit for our new horde base. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, this big cavity here I dug out because there was a bunch of resources in there, uh, mostly iron, so we got a whole mess of iron out of that. And um, then I've dug everything out on the bottom two layers all the way around this stone here. I just have this one final uh, section here to go. So I think what we'll do is let's, let's go ahead and start digging it this way. Oh, well, never mind. There it goes right there. Or at least part of it. Okay. It's coming down. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we can just get through the whole thing without it collapsing on our heads. I do have that, um, you know, read the mining book that we take less damage from that, but I'd rather not take any damage at all. Alright, I'm going to do something here. Let's pause the game for just a second. And I'm going to go into a rock fell off the world. Interesting. Uh, let's go into the debug menu. And we're going to, uh, let's see, control global. This is what I want. Okay. <clears throat> So we're going to detach the camera and just kind of watch this here. Okay, so let's get into... Hold on a second. There we go. We have to be in, in the first person menu. And then if we go here, there. And we can kind of come up and watch it. Come down from, from this way. Looks like... Oh, it looks like it's collapsing from the bottom up, not the top down. I don't have a a light source because the light's on my, my character. Oh, here comes a screamer. Okay, we better get back to our, our body here. Oh, ouch. Oh, shit. Over here, <laughs> right, we should be reasonably safe over on this side. I'm thinking. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything to fall on our head in this corner. Okay, let's go back into camera mode. Now, where's it coming down at? Wait, what? Huh? How did it stop collapsing? I wonder if um, some stone fell down in, in here to stop it, and now it's like supporting it. That's probably what happened. Okay, so we're going to have to go along the perimeter. and uh, fix that. Uh. 
So I don't see anything now holding this up. And even if there, if there was, I mean, holding the whole thing up? Come on, give me a break. I just thought maybe if I jumped up there and broke a block, it would update the SI. Um, physics are active. Show stability. Oh, I guess that doesn't apply to stone. It's just uh, stuff that I've built. <clears throat> okay. Uh, physics. What if we turn physics off? And then turn it back on. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is really bizarre. There's nothing holding this up that I can visibly see. Oh, shit. <laughs> there we go. We just had to kind of get the physics to update by removing that block in the middle. Of course, it remains to be seen if it'll successfully collapse the rest of it. Let's go over here. Now it seems to be working. I've always thought it interesting how this this sort of thing works in this game. You know, in the real world, the whole thing would just come down all at once, but here it has to do it like one layer of blocks at a time. So we're going to have a mess to clean up down here. But still not going to take anywhere near as long as I would have just dug that whole thing down, which is what I had originally planned on doing, but it's like, no, nah, I don't think so. That's taken taking way too long. You know what we could do? Is I could go make some dynamite to clear all this stuff up. I, I don't want to get it too close to the to the walls. But, you know, because it's not going to damage the bedrock, but more out towards the center. Why don't we try that? We'll try some dynamite. I think it has a radius of five blocks or something like that so we just got to make sure we keep it five blocks away from the outer walls you know since we're in cheat mode anyways why don't we do this so we can that this is better than using the camera because then i can have the light on it that is that's pretty cool man look at avalanche what kind of voodoo witchcraft is this How's that guy just sitting there? Now it's coming from the bottom. All right. Did that other block finally come down too? I think it did because I'm not seeing it now. What a mess, eh? <laughs> what a mess. Right, let's turn that off. So yeah, I'm thinking uh, maybe we make some dynamite to try and clear this out. So let's run back to the base. And I'll make some dynamite. We'll come back and we'll give that a try. Oh wow, look at that. They popped another hole through the wall. Um... I don't think I had anything there. Nothing functional anyways. There might have been something left over from the original. Um, uh, you know, the original POI. All right, let's grab you. Put you in there. No, I want this. Okay. Yeah, we gotta I, we gotta get the a wall, uh, an actual def defensive wall around this place. But the horde base is number one priority. Oh, we got crops to harvest too. Yeah, let's do that. Also, let's get the dynamite crafting first. I don't know how long it's gonna take. So to make dynamite, 
We need all that stuff. So we need plant fibers. We need duct tape, of which we have... Oh, I made that duct tape because I needed more repair kits, so... Let's go repair kit. We'll take the rest of our glue here. Well, I'm going to actually need to make some more glue. All right, so let's go grab some extra water then. We got lots of water. I'm also going to check and see what's... Yeah, I emptied these out earlier before I... Thought I heard somebody out there. Uh, you know, before I started the recording. Uh, so let's make, say, like 30 glue. All right, while we're waiting for that... Out of there, get some sand. Okay, so we have two more minutes left to go on that. Uh, let's grab all the seeds that we currently have, except for, of course, tree seeds. We don't need those. Okay, let's harvest the garden. Wow. Okay, we got nine things of corn seed. Let's plant those. And I want, I still want another two rows, I think. Depends upon how much corn that's going to take, though. So we need, if we make 11 more corn seed. Yeah, that still li leaves us 75 years of corn, so that's not too bad. We can do a lot with that. Um... Oh, shoot, we haven't unlocked potato seed yet. How? we got to be, like, getting super close. But I haven't, you know, I haven't been doing POIs for the last few days because I've been working on this board base. Yeah, we still need two more magazines to get to potatoes. So whatever we have is what we have, which is seven. Um, so next... I don't think I, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think I have enough seeds to plant everything that needs to be planted. So I'm just going to plant whatever else we have for now. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the changes they made to farming in Alpha 21. Or was it even Alpha 20 that they, oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Can you plant stuff in damaged ground? Yeah, I guess you can. Okay. I think it was actually Alpha 20 that they really screwed up farming in this game. Well, the first and most significant screw-up that they did with farming in Seven Days to Die is way back when they removed the... Um, you know, the hoe, which I think was Alpha 18 is when they did that. I have not talked to a single person that prefers the crop plot method over just hoeing the ground. Uh, for one thing, that was just a lot of fun to do that. I really enjoyed that. But uh, it just, yeah, farming's kind of pain in the ass. But it is what it is. Okay, so that's pretty much all we have. Now, if I wanted to... Why don't we do this? Let's um let's go into here. And we're going to split everything we have in half except for potatoes because we can't do anything with potatoes anyways. 
and then goldenrod. You know, we should actually plant some chrysanthemum. Well, should we though? No, we shouldn't. <laughs> we can go out and get that stuff so easily. Uh, we already did two rows of corn, so we're good there. Let's split the coffee in half. And we split the pumpkins in half. Okay. So now what we're just going to do is we're going to make as many seed as um, seeds as we can with what we have left. All right, we need oh, we need clay to do the mushrooms. Okay, so we'll grab some clay. So we'll be able to make a total of ten mushroom seeds. All right, so our glue is finished here. Now we need to make duct tape. While we're waiting for that, let's go back over this way and plant the rest of these crops. So, duct tape is finished. All right, let's make ourselves some dynamite. Grab a stack, a couple stacks of gunpowder. And we need paper, too. All right. How many of these can we make? 19. That's what we'll do. We'll make 19 of those, and we'll see how well that will do in clearing up most of that debris. And then the rest I'm just going to have to do by hand. All right, so let's see. I want to grab a stack of that. I always want to have a stack of that and a stack of this in the inventory. I made some stone, too, as you can see, and even just some clay. I'm going to grab some more wood to take with us, too. All right, so when this is done, I'll meet you guys back at the pit, and we'll... We'll clean it up with this dynamite. All right, guys, I've got all of the scrap uh, stone cleaned up here. And uh, I did get a little too close to the wall with one stick of dynamite. So we're going to have to patch this back up. And uh, we should, yeah, we should have enough to, to do this here. I'm really only interested in the outer layer. I don't really care about stuff that goes deeper back than one layer. And actually, I'm probably going to line the bottom three or four blocks of the pit with concrete anyways. All right, I think we... Do we get it all? Yeah, I think so. All right, very good. So that... Um, that takes care of this dig. My goodness, this took me a long time, but I got a ton of XP and resources from it. Oh, speaking of which, uh, we've got some points to spend. Let's see, what do we got here? We got 10 points to spend. My goodness. All right, I think we're working on fortitude. Um, so let's go ahead and to get pain tolerance up for another level, we need fortitude seven. So let's get fortitude seven first. We'll get pain tolerance up. Gain one health every 10 seconds. Yeah, okay. We'll get that up. And I think we were going to put some points into well insulated too, but that's not super important. Um, I'm not going to put any points into this until we can just max the whole thing out. Because at the point that I do that, then I got to carry a, another gun and a lot more 762. So, well, you know what though? <laughs> it's not a big deal now because we got such a big backpack. But now nah, let's just go ahead and get Fortitude itself uh, all the way back up. So, so we still have two points left over there. So we're going to need a total of uh, five, six, seven, six, four. Yeah, we need to get four more points including the two that we already, you know, we still have to get those maxed out. All right. So the next part of this project is going to be 
starting the build. We've got a chicken down here. Hey, chicken. And it is like so freaking dark right now. So I think what we're going to do is let's, uh, I'm going to cut the camera and I'll bring you guys back in the morning and I'm going to show you at least the, the start of what this build's going to look like. Oh shit. That's great. <laughs> I was, I didn't know she was there. That scared the crap out of me. Um, Are there more coming down? Now, I was going to dig out a return tunnel, a ramp going back up, kind of spiraling around the pit, but I got to thinking it might be easier just to put a ladder going up, uh, maybe one in each corner, and then, you know, upgrade at least the bottom and top portions of it to steel and then have the center the center part be um, concrete. That was a scary sight there. Three big mama's underwears. Um, and, and just do it on all four corners because then, you know, then they have four different ways to get out in case they do happen to break one of the ladders. I haven't decided for sure if that's what I'm going to do though. If I, if I make a nice wide ramp and I concrete it up, that's, you know, that's just going to be more effective, more of a sure thing, I suppose. I mean, it's still possible for even something like that to get destroyed, but less likely. Um, it just means I got to do more digging. <laughs> I'm doing so much digging. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to think about that. But that, what, however we do that, that's not going to prevent us from getting started with the main you know, the main build itself. So yeah, I'll see you guys back here in the morning. Okay, guys, we are back down in the pit and in my inventory, I've got a whole crap ton of concrete. I got a crap ton of cobblestone, a crap ton of forged steel, um, 273, uh, uh, cubes and another full stack of wood to make more. So, uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to start off with the uh, foundation of what's going to be four towers. They're going to rise up from the bottom of this. Now, if you're wondering, I don't know if I explained this or not. If you're wondering why I dug all, all the way down to bedrock to build this base, the, uh, there's, there's a number of reasons. First reason is that we have a solid foundation, right? So we don't have to worry about the foundation collapsing underneath the base, at least in terms of the, 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 the ground itself. Uh, secondly is that zombies in alpha 21, um, when they fall down, if they hit the ground within 11 blocks of you, they go into a rage mode and they start trying to tear down the structure that you're on. Um, so our, where we're going to be is we're going to be way up at the top. In fact, we're going to be even higher up in the air than, you know, than the surface. And so when the zombies fall down, um, they're so far away from us that they're, they won't, they won't enrage and they'll just cycle back up to us. And also the zombies will take, you know, a little bit of fall damage and help soften them up. So those are kind of the main reasons. And then the secondary, uh, reason I did this is just because we got so much XP and resources, you know, by digging this out. Um, so, you know, that was kind of more of the secondary reason. All right. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to, we're going to have these towers each come four blocks out. Okay, so this will be the beginning of the first tower, and the towers will be a five by five block. Okay, so now we have our four <coughs> tower foundations. Uh, each one of these uh, are six blocks apart. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And with our parkour skills, we can 
jump from one tower to the next. Now, I understand, you know, especially on Horde Night with frame rate, potential frame rate issues and stuff like that, that we could miss that jump. So I'm also going to add um, ladders that are going to go down a few blocks from the top of the tower, uh, you know, along the side. So if we do happen to miss it, we can still grab onto the ladder before we fall all the way off. And remember, these are going to be way up in the air when this, this is all said and done. Okay, so... The next part of this build now is going to be uh, me basically building these things out all the way up and then even a little higher than the surface, you know, of the pit here. Uh, one thing that I haven't decided for sure yet is, I what you know, I'm, I'm probably going to dig a tunnel that's a return you know, for the zombies to get back up to the surface, uh, which will kind of just be a spiral that'll go up and around, you know, the pit until it goes out. I thought about, instead of doing that, just having a ladder on all four corners so they could get up that way. Um, that'll definitely be easier to do and a lot less digging, but there's always the chance that they could destroy all four ladders and then not be able to get back up, which would mess up our base. I know that's unlikely, but it's definitely likely, uh, or I'm it's definitely possible. So <laughs> it's unlikely, but it's definitely like uh, it's definitely possible. So I think at the end of the day, we probably are going to be better off uh, building an actual return tunnel, which will just be ramps that that are, that are going back up, because that's that's going to be less likely to get destroyed, especially if I make it you know like a two or even three wide tunnel. Uh, because this particular base, at least the the main design of it is, I want the zombies to come hard and fast. I want as many zombies coming after us as as the Horde Knight could throw at us, because you know that's going to be maximum XP. There's going to be kind of a secondary fallback mechanism to this base that I haven't fully fleshed out yet, though that we we could use if if this, you know, the main function fails. And that main function, by the way, is the tops of these towers, once we get them built all, uh, built all the way up, they're going to be chambers that very similar to, you know, the chamber that we created a few Horde Nights ago where I was just making gobs and gobs of XP. But if you watch those episodes, you will remember that, you know, the, the demolishers in particular eventually would destroy the ladder that would, you know, created the path and then it kind of made the base kind of funky. So we're going to have four of them. So that way, if we start on this base and, you know, they break the ladder and it's no longer working, we just jump over to this one and we keep going. And then, of course, I'll have a, a door based, you know, drawbridge kind of thing leading to each one of the bases up at the top for the zombies, you know, to, to get across to us. Um, but, you know, if they won't, they won't get a, go to those towers if we're on this one. Because these towers will not touch each other. Okay, so I hope that made sense. I, d I probably didn't do the best job explaining that. Um, I'll probably also eventually line the first three or maybe four blocks down here with concrete too. But that's not essential. And I want to make sure we have this thing built and ready to go for the next Horde Night. So that's something I'll, you know, I would probably do later. All right, so I think that gives you guys a, a good idea of at least, you know, what's going to happen for the next part of this build. So my job now is going to be to build these things all the way up to the top. I'm going to make the first probably three, maybe four blocks steel. Um, and then after that, it'll be concrete all the way up until we get to the very top where we build the explosion chambers. And those will also be steel as well. Um, and in the process of doing this, it is going to take me a long time, but we are also, again, going to make a crap ton of XP. Uh, in the process of doing this. Uh, so don't be surprised if I start the next episode and I have another, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 <laughs> points uh, to spend. And uh, yeah, so I think that's a good stopping point for us here. So I'm going to get started uh, upgrading these blocks here and I'm going to let you guys go and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.